Hey guys, good morning. Okay, we are on lesson 119. And the two lessons that we're reviewing today are lesson 107 and 108. 107 says, truth will correct all errors in my mind. Thanks, Jimmy. Um, and 108 says, to give and to receive are one in truth. Uh, 107, truth will correct all errors in my mind. I am mistaken when I think I can be hurt in any way. I am God's son, whose self rests safely in the mind of God. And 108 says, to give and to receive are one in truth. I will forgive all things today that I may learn how to accept the truth in me and come to recognize my sinlessness. So on the hour we say, truth will correct all errors of my mind. And on the half hour we say, to give and to receive are one in truth. I love getting these messages every half hour. It's really, really cool. Um, okay. Let us bring forth our beloved Magdalene and see what words of wisdom she has for us today. I hope you're all having a gorgeous day. It, uh, it's, a, it's a good day today. <laughs> it's a really good day. Okay, let me bring her through. Greetings, beloveds. It is indeed a good day. Every moment is a good moment. Every day is a good day. Even when the clouds are out, even when the sun does not seem to be shining, it is still a good day. Beloved, within the mind, structure. There are simultaneously running two different platforms, two different agendas, if you will, two different realities. One is of truth and light, and one is of a movie, a film that is filled with drama and heroes and villains and it is filled with laughter and it is filled with sadness and it is filled with hilarity and it is filled with grief. This film, this drama that has been created of the mind has done so in accordance with a structure that was created for a consciousness and a beingness that was more animalistic, shall we say and felt the need to protect itself. However, there's also a consciousness that exists that is the mind of God, the will of God and the heart of God. And it is very much in the background of what is being projected onto the foreground. There is an ability within each being to direct one's will to see and know and experience the truth versus the movie that has been projected forth from an egoic mind. When one watches a film or television, please understand that the mind cannot separate, that that experience has not actually occurred. It apprehends what is in a film and it absorbs as if it happened because it has happened within the landscape of the mind. Now, when you come to realize that you have truly never left the kingdom of God, that you are home where you have always been. And while you have been in this state of repose, while you have been in this state of sleep, what is occurring is that there is a film, a movie, a projection that is occurring within your consciousness. It is much like when you watch a person or an animal sleep and they seem to be having a nightmare during their dream state. This is very much what we observe for those who are still asleep. Those who have 
stepped into the film of their lives and have come to see it as real. There is an opportunity for you, beloveds, to be able to discern what is true, what is real, to see beyond the veil, to see beyond what has been false for you. It has not felt false. It has indeed felt real. But again, it is much like watching a movie, watching a film. So in order to correct the error where you have perceived that this movie is indeed real, you must seek out the truth, beloveds. It is very much like putting a, a tear in the fabric of the screen and opening it and walking through to the truth of you that lies beyond. There have been errors in the way in which this truth has been perceived. And you do have the ability, you do have the capacity, beloveds, to see through to the truth. Understand that what it takes in order to be able to see beyond the facade is for you to forgive. Forgive yourself that you have ever chosen to believe that the fallacy is real, that all of this illusion is real. It has been an incredible orchestration of the egoic mind to say, you have been harmed, you have been killed, you have been hurt, you have been rejected. But truly beloved, what there is for you to understand and to know and to see is that all of this can be wiped away in a moment. All of this can be cleansed and cleared in a moment. And all you need do is go within rather than attempting to look for the resolution without. That is not where it belongs. That is not where it exists. It exists within. And when you allow yourself to travel inward to your heart, you come to know and see the truth. And in that truth, there is a purity, a cleanliness. You come to realize that to give and to receive are indeed the same. For whatever you are giving, you are receiving because what you grant to yourself, you are ultimately granting to yourself. What you grant to another, you are ultimately granting to yourself. It occurs within a mirrored type of universe. We are asking you now, beloveds, to crack the mirror, to shatter this reflection, and to see that there is not another, there is only you. This is a very high level conversation, but one that you are indeed ready for, prepared for, and ready to undertake. So look beloved today with your heart upon another and see your own self love engaged in this dynamic with a beloved. Find another yet to forgive, one with whom you hold even the smallest grievance and look within to see what it is about this being that makes you want to emnify them, makes you want to say, they are not me, they are different, they are wrong, they are bad, they are evil, they are cruel. None of these accolades apply, beloved. They do not apply to another, nor do they apply to you. Allow the universe to continue to give you signs and to give you messages along the way to say, beloved, you are home and you are safe and you are loved. Allow the truth to be revealed. In order for the truth to be revealed, beloved, you must be willing to see the truth and speak the truth and know the truth. Admit to your mistakes. Release yourself from the guilt and the shame that you have held on to. Where have you taken from another where it was not offered? Where have you stolen? Where have you lied? Where have you been in denial? Where have you pretended? And forgive yourself for who you were at the time. Forgive yourself for forgetting the truth of you. Your own divinity, your own godliness, Forgive yourselves, beloveds, for the righteousness that you have always used to hurt yourself and to hurt others. What is hurt, beloveds, 
is the esteem that you would feel for yourself. For when you indeed walk the path of righteousness, when you indeed say, I love is my word, I honor all that I say that I will do. And I say that I am committed to loving God and God alone. And yet you have imagined yourself to be in a world where you must love things that seem unlovable to you. Allow yourself to find love in all circumstances, even the ones that you consider to be horrific. My beloved would go into the leper camps and would provide peace and love and solace for beings who had been rejected. What part of you are you rejecting? Where is your own leper colony within your life? And can you apply love to creatures that you fear? What is it within you, beloved, that you fear? Can you bring love to that aspect of self, your deepest and your darkest? And let the light of God reveal the truth. Grant love to yourself. And as you do, you receive that same love. Grant love to those that you consider to be the lepers in your life. And as you grant that love to them, you will receive the same in kind. For to give is to receive. It is indeed a blessing. Look upon all with the eyes of innocence, beloved ones. Look upon all with the eyes of love. Treat them with kindness. When you are able to see your own truth, you will see the truth in others. When you are able to see the truth in others, you will see the truth in yourself. Our blessings go upon you, beloveds, in this journey. We will speak with you again. Mm. Mm. Thanks, everybody. See you all tomorrow. <laughs>